program involves multiple public and private agencies working together to provide opportunities for students to get healthcare education, degrees in the healthcare field that they would not uh, otherwise probably have. It provides an opportunity for local, re local people to go back to school and to get higher education. We really wanted to key in on non-traditional students because those are the ones who are probably can't move away from Chamberlain or our area to go to school someplace and so we wanted to center on those students here um, because they're probably going to stay here too. We have six students uh, that are currently involved. Some of them are employees here and some of them are not. And so we hope that uh, our current employees will go through the program and then be able to be employed here at the hospital. If we can train more people in the area then they'll stay here and that'll help the community and the communities around us also. We're finding local people that are actually in the School of Medicine and we're trying to um, help them along, trying to encourage them so they, they will come back to a rural facility. Ten miles north of Chamberlain this is the farm I grew up on, right inside the reservation line. I'm from this area. I was raised in Crow Creek. I worked um, 14 years in the adjustment training center with physically and mentally handicapped adults. I did that for all those years and thought that's where I wanted to stay. And then I moved back here from Mitchell to raise the kids about eight, nine years ago. We moved home um, and just kind of gave up on ever going to school because, you know, Mitchell's an hour away, nowhere to go to go to school. I've had an interest in the healthcare for quite some time. Um, worked on the ambulance here for a while and then got my CNA. Took classes here and there on and off, one or two at a time, up at Lower Brule Community College and been working at the nursing home for seven years and just on and off with classes. And once I realized this is what I was going to do and we looked into options like going up to CUC and Pier or through Lower Brule you can go down to Santa uh, Glasgow but the travel became an issue. So when it started getting into action, it was put at my doorstep and how can you not answer that? We've been working with students to get them through their prerequisites for about two years. And this last year's really been a push on um, the students getting the credits for those prerequisites. Being that I worked there, I saw it right away on the bulletin board and you know, mentioned it to my husband and it was like, you know, it's an opportunity for me to go to school. I mean, I've always wanted to go back to school, but I wasn't going to be able to, you know, because it was too far away. So when it came up, I was like, yeah, if they'll bring it to me. I had basically all my generals out of the way, just a few more to catch up. I'm in class right now. I work full time. Will stayed home for the first three years with Mason and just now is going back to work this fall um, because I have to go part time and uh, focus on the actual nursing portion of the program. When you're non-traditional to go back and do online, it's all self-taught, you know, you teach yourself. This is bringing teachers to us. This is bringing through the DDN system that we had. We had our lecturer right there. It was a lot better learning situation, I think, for myself. I mean, younger ones probably can do that stuff, but this program is initially geared towards non-traditional students, people that are older that want to go back to school, want to get an education, want to, you know, further themselves. Our staff, through our CAPS, which are nursing bachelor level nurses will do the education and then subsequently our master's level nurses will oversee and ensure that the um, appropriate level of education is provided to those students. We will do a lot with them here in clinical. We'll be basically their mentor um, here in the hospital, work with them as they work with the patients and um, give them more learning experiences. Making sure that they have access to the classes either online or through video conferencing. They've been able to form a community of learners as they're taking some of the coursework towards their uh, degree requirements for the nursing program and just the some support that they receive as as a result of being part of that community is tremendously helpful and then in addition to that you know what other things do they need to be successful they give great emotional support, you, if anything's going wrong or whatever, you can call them at any time. Tutoring, um, mentoring. Proctors and study people. 
help with babysitting, help with transportation. They're there anytime you need them for whatever reason. They've, you know, gas cards and whatever you need. If you don't have that support, it's kind of scary and shaky out there on your own. We found a great tutor that is, um, actually I went to school with her, and very, very smart girl, and she's been a godsend. As non-traditional students, we sometimes have children and families, and we need to keep working, and there's just not enough money to do everything that we need to do. Working full-time, going to school, raising kids, helping out at the ranch here and there, it's, it's a full-time effort. It gives my kids something to look up to, you know, the fact that I've gone back to school and how important it is, and, and I explain that to them now. If I would have done this just out of school, it would have been so much easier for me than it is now to be doing it. You know, it's, it's a lot of work, and working full-time and going to school and raising four kids is a lot of work, but when I graduate from this program in two years, my oldest boy will graduate from high school. I'll be out of school, I'll be, you know, be able to support him more in college and help him with what he wants to do and stuff and I'll have the money and the means to give him that financial assistance. With his syndrome that he has, that's another great motivator is just learning more, better how to take care of him, all of his medications, um, you know, just the different surgeries he's had and I think in the future when we're presented with more of those it'll be easier and more comforting to understand, okay, this is what they're gonna do. The facility will benefit because uh, currently we're having to employ temp nurses to fill our vacancies. Uh, when we have students that are coming through the program uh, to fill those vacancies, we won't have to use temp services anymore. It's an investment in the future of the hospital because I, he knows I'm gonna stay here. He knows this is where I live, you know, where I'm not planning on moving. Some of the best nurses come out of rural healthcare. Uh, they become generalists and are able to function in any environment. Our organization serv services three counties uh, in, in the area of rural Buffalo and Lyman and uh, there's a lot of people that rely on our, on, our, on our service here in Chamberlain. We have patients that come from, they drive an hour just to get here to, to see doctors, even for emergency care. We have ambulances that come from, they can be a half hour away before they get here. So we have people that come 60 miles for care here and if there isn't anything here, then they just have to travel that much farther. And in an emergency situation, that sometimes isn't an option for people, and lives are lost. I think it just brings a comfort level to, uh, to the community that we're taking care of each other. It really makes it more of like a family thing when you can bring people from your own community to work there. About 50% of the people that walk through our door are native people at the Chantra, uh, Sanford Chamberlain facility. About 70% um, of the babies we have are native. We work every day with the two Indian Health Service um, uh, entities that are close to us, Fort Thompson and Lower Brule. They're very supportive of the program. They're very interested in how it's gonna work for them because they are always expanding their services as well. And so we're kind of hoping that we not only turn out folks for us, but we turn out staff for them as well. Um, to help with our whole entire area. We're looking more regionally and providing opportunities to communities that maybe haven't had that opportunity before. We could run our own, our own health care system with our own people being educated in the health field. That, that's, that's part of our future. That's what we're looking forward to. We ask our young people, come get an education. That, that's the key to your future. Key to another world. This is education. This is going to be a, make them be better parents in the future and better people. I see this is an opportunity to address some of those health disparities, um, especially with the Native students that we have involved in this initiative, um, working within their own communities. Participating in this initiative is a, a big deal. Simply from an economic development standpoint, those retail businesses or the smaller service industry businesses, they, they need customers just like the, the big box stores do in other places. And if you have a more educated, higher compensated clientele in your service area, it's bound to benefit the whole community. It's a way to, to further their career 
um, to substantially earn more money uh, for themselves and their families. It's a way to continually um, improve the economic development of our area, to continue to expand services that we're providing, to keep people here who are good to the area and continue to make money and then spend their money throughout the area. And that money is always turned over, you know, one and up to one and a half times in a community. In the long run, it's going to create some economic growth in this community, or both of the communities, Crow Creek and Lower Grove, by employing people in those communities. I have friends, you know, all over the state, and they think it's awesome. And uh, some of my friends that are now nurses or whatever that have moved away go, geez, I wish they had that, you know, when we were still there, we would have never had to leave or relocate or anything. And that's just it. You go to school here for the 12 years or whatever, and most of them leave. Some return, some don't. So it's a big positive. If we do things right the first time, that uh, this program will spur off into other programs such as physical therapy and such as laboratory. I think that this could be a, a huge economic engine for Chamberlain because we could be bringing students, we could be bringing faculty, and, uh, and maybe they choose to live here and, uh, and have a, a, an excellent career here in Chamberlain. It gives us the ability to work with the University of South Dakota for a nursing program here. Um, hopefully we'll be opening up the doors to other programs as well. Um, two years from this May, so 2013, we'll have our first graduating class of RN students here. We're very excited, very excited to get the program going. And we're going to do whatever we can to be supportive of the, the students in the class because we want them to be successful. If we don't make uh, investments in the health care uh, today, we, we won't have health care in the future. I think that's probably the biggest selling point for uh, helping assist uh, in the funding of, of this type of program. Innovative partnerships such as this are essential as we look to meet demand for healthcare employees um, in South Dakota. And so I would encourage them to explore this opportunity to become involved um, because it's just really representative of what is needed for the future. Support of, of the program is, is critical um, to what, what we are doing because without that support, um, the program's probably not going to be as successful as what it could be. In the next five to ten years, I see this as a regional training center for USD. I see this as a, an ability to uh, pump out very high quality individuals that can go not only here but throughout the state. And I think this is a great opportunity for us. I think it's a great opportunity for the first state, and uh, I would encourage your support. Taking care of my family, giving them a better future. It'll just give us a lot more opportunities. This program will change my life.